It's really important that people have an understanding of the times tables. So that's what the next bit of work's about. Same thing applies though. If you're getting a good mark, don't spend long on it. So this work's going to work through a number of activities. In particular, we're going to work through each of the times tables. And there'll be a short little test, five questions. If you get it right, move on, get on it. Here we have a table of, of all the possible timetables uh, from one to, um, you know, one times one to 10 times 10, which equals 100. Now, although it looks really complicated, it's not nearly as bad as it looks because most people already know the one time table. And you see there that I've highlighted that in red and that immediately elim eliminates 19 out of uh, that you have to learn. Then the two times tables, well, most people know how to do that. Uh, and that eliminates another two rows. So we've already suddenly got rid of most of the times tables that you need to learn. And the 10 times table is easy because you just take the number like 3 times 10 and put a zero on the end. So that eliminates all of those and we've now got 49 left in the middle. Okay, now let's have a look at the nines. And you'll notice that the nines always add up to nine. So like nine times one, if we wrote it as two digits, zero, nine always adds to it always adds to 9 and 2 is the same and so on 3 2 and 7 is 9 so this can be used to help memorize these things notice also that the first digit is always one less than the number we multiply by so if we're multiplying 9 times 2 we know it's something 1 and then 1 to make up to 9 is 1 8 if it's 9 times 3 well the first digit of the answer is a 2 and we make that up to 9 which is 7 and if we go right down here to say number 8 um, the first digits are 7 make it up to 2 is 9 so that's a nice easy way of remembering uh, the 9 times table so once we know the 9 times table we can get rid of that and then uh, what we can do is we can then look at the 3 times table now most people know the 3 times table but if you don't then you need to do a little bit of work here and most people know the four, three, um, four times table as well. So once we've got rid of the three and four times table, we're now left with 16 uh, numbers. Okay, so fives are easy because they always end in zero or five. We're now left with nine numbers. Now, one of the things to notice is that uh, seven times six is 42 and 7 times 6 is 42 there, they're actually the same number, or should I say 6 7s seven and 7 6s. Uh, that nine, uh, 6 8 is 48 and 8 6s are 48, so it's the same number. So in fact, um, these ones up here are just the same. So there's really only this 6 that we have to remember, and of course these square numbers are quite easy. 6 6s six are 36, 7 7s seven are 49, 8 8 to 64. So there's only a few numbers that we need to learn. Okay, so that's the timetables. It's much easier than you would think, but it does take practice, and we're going to set some quizzes up for you to have a look at. So most people's stumbling block with the times tables is either threes and fours. So if you're having trouble there, practice those quizzes a lot. Other people's stumbling blocks tends to be 7 times 6, 8 times 6, and 8 times 7. So if you can remember those timetables or write them down, memorize them, normally actually you've got the whole lot sussed.